At this point, what we did then is import some files, um, warp them tied to the BPM, select a portion of them and loop it in the session view, and now we are free to basically experiment and manipulate those same files. As a start, we can lower the tempo. We can, for example, create copies with Alt, Drag and Drop and lower the transposition for the copy, so make it uh, two steps slower. It kind of feels better when you, especially when you lower the BPM. It's a bit uh, of a tape, uh, vinyl, uh, slowering kind of effect. <laughs> um, now let's select a portion of the voice. Obviously, I'm not restricted to use the same loop for the voice. I can use a bigger or longer section of the voice. For example, from, let's say, the moment that she starts singing here. So I'm going to select this section over here like that. We were like that. So we've got this section of the voice uh, cut here, ready to go. We were like Everything is on, uh, is on click. We were like dancing and gold and no I'm going to join in the strings and the synthesizers that we cut uh, just now. We were like dancing and gold, I know it in my bones, we were like gold, and I and know, I know. So we got the voice, um, the voice clip that we just cut, along with the strings and the uh, synths that we cut before. We can play them together, and at this point I would also like to introduce another really cool feature, which is the envelopes editing uh, per clip that Ableton offers. Uh, notice that it might be hidden, so it's right here, you can uh, hide it or show it. And every time you click on a parameter, for example the B send, you have it automatically selected here, which means that now I can basically zoom in into the clip and Apple B draw any sort of automation that I want. We were like dancing and gold, I know it in my bones, we were like gold, and I and know, I know. Gold. we were like dancing. Now let's quickly import the bass. So to be sure that I'm using the bass in key, I'm going to import the bass file in the arrangement, bass synth. Quickly do the same operation we did at the beginning at the beginning of the tutorial. So go to the beginning of the file. Uh, let's wait one second that Ableton analyzes it. Here you go. Go there, select uh, make a new marker. Choose one one one. Choose hundred and oh yeah, I'll have to switch back the session to hundred and thirty five real quick, otherwise it won't give me the option. There you go, and then 35, there you go. Now we've got the bass rolling exactly in that point, which sounds like this. We were like dancing it's obviously out of key because now we're playing the, uh, the other instruments two steps below. So I'm going to cut this clip, Apple E, transpose it back, and use the quick shortcut Apple J to basically consolidate that file into a new clip, which basically is going to be only that section of the bass. We were like dancing and gold, I know it in my bones, we were like gold. So I'm going to drag and drop this back into the session view, play it along with the other clips, and then start manipulating the bass with the envelopes of the volume. We were like dancing and gold, I know it in Let's loop it as well. And I 
it's just a delay to have a little bit of a greater effect. So I'm gonna choose two here and four here, a lot of feedback and see what happens like this. We were like dancing goals. I know it in my bones. We were like gold. And I know, and I know gold. Gold. we were Okay. Now let's add a new MIDI track. Shift Apple T and just to be able to drop some quick beats and uh, one of the things that you might want to keep into consideration when doing a remix is to use elements of the original that um, for example the voice or the strings or the bass like we did which gives you an idea of what the original was and then layer on top something completely new for example lower the tempo uh, use a different uh, style of music get creative uh, use different sounds use different drum kits experiment with the files for example just to give you another uh, idea once i i made the remix just by importing all the files and then manipulating the warp engine so much that it sounded a little bit like the original but it was something completely different and then i rearranged the whole clip arrangement the whole section to make it into a new arrangement basically so last step i want to show you is to how to dr quickly drop a bit so we're going to load a drum kit from ableton uh, we can do, for example, let's say session dry. Let's see how this sounds. Uh, let's go. So let's try, for example, uh, grid life. This other one. Quickly quantize Apple U. We were like Drop some effects, for example, some compression and some reverb. We were like and go Let's cut it right. We were like and go <laughs> Something really funky up in there. We were like okay, let's edit this clip. Uh, in this way, I can select this portion here, cut it, get this section right there, Apple D, duplicate, and have the same thing two times. We were like dancing gold, I know it in my bones, we were like gold, and I know gold. Let's give a little bit of room for levels and dynamics so i'm going to lower the volume of all the tracks excluding a bit we were like dancing gold i know it in my bones we were like gold and i know gold. we were like dancing gold i know it in my bones we were like gold and i know Raise the volume of the other instruments to get it fuller. We were like and gold. I know it is. Drop some glue compression on the master and get it groovy. We were like and gold. I know it in my bones. We were like gold. And I know. At this point, I just created some sort of basic structure. I can duplicate the scenes, delete parts and add parts to be able to quickly, basically, arrange it. For example, start with the beat and the bass. Yeah, let's also quickly relabel box. Like this. So.
get the files, import the files, get them warped, tied to the tempo, manipulate the tempo, find loops, cut the loops, import them into the session view, uh, find a good section of the vocals to be able to, you know, repeat it, affect it, manipulate it, uh, re-elaborate the bass line, add the new beat, uh, get creative with the warp settings, get creative with the envelopes, um, experiment with the effects. Um, so this is uh, what I wanted to show you, is just a quick example of how to get started quickly. Uh, in particular using Ableton Live and its uh, most important features. But you can use, you can feel free to experiment. <laughs>